new game, new game, new game, new game, continue, whatever, continue, new game. What's up YouTube, this is Arnold Yoshi, as usual, bring you Let's Play Brass Restoration. You are looking down at me because of my new room setup. Does not allow for a good, com good computer setup, camera setup, computer, camera, whatever. But yeah, we're playing Brass Restoration, which is a visual novel, because I like visual novels. And it took me a little bit, I finally managed to find an English translation of it, because it was originally... I think it was originally Japanese. I know it was originally a different language, obviously, but yeah. So let's begin with New Game. I'm probably going to be playing this game multiple times, because there's... From what I can tell, there's four different paths in it. So I'll probably do one where I'll take the first path, then I'll hit my pop filter, and then I'll start from... The point where you choose a path, and then I'll go down the second path, third path, fourth path, and then I'll be complete Let's Play. So, yeah, let's go. New game. I don't know much about this game, so... Chirp, chirp. The birds wake me up. Still drowsy, I listen to the birds chirp while looking up at the ceiling. This seems like a literal song or something, but without the song. Eat us, chirp. I see. I'll do that next time. What? I reply to the birds in my mind. Are the birds... what? Huh? I suddenly feel something strange. It takes me some time to realize what it is, but then I notice the scenery is different. The usual sunlight isn't there. No, there's a window, and I think there's sunlight coming through it. I come up with a theory. To prove it, I take action. I move my neck to look at the clock by my pillow. 5.11 AM. Turning my head, I take my arm off from under the blanket and grab my cell phone. 117. John 117. It is 5 o'clock, 15 minutes, and 20 seconds. An artificial voice tells me the time. It seems my clock is slightly off. I should fix it. Many dots. No, that's not it. I was right. Why do I have to get up so early? Man, this sucks. <laughs> I look past the open curtains. The world is tinted gray. No, it looks blue. Well, yeah, the entire thing is tinted gray because of the text box. This means it's early morning, at least according to the time and amount of sunlight. So it took him, he had to check his clock, his cell phone, and look out the window to realize, hey, it's early morning. I can tell that just based on how tired I am when I wake up. I can wake up and say, it's early morning, back to sleep. Like, I don't need to look at two clocks and a window and a partridge in a pear tree. There's no reason to wake up right now. I'm going back to sleep. Yeah. See, exactly. See, if it was me, I would have figured that out like 10 minutes earlier. I have the right to sleep. I have a duty to sleep. It's an economic activity based on the Japanese constitution and it will contribute to this decaying society I'm living in. Yeah, I'm a great person. Wait, this isn't the time to be thinking about such things. I should sleep. Good night. Good night to me. Perfect. Go to sleep already! Listen, many dots. Many more dots. Even more dots. Knock, knock. Many dots. Knock, knock. Mmm. Knock, 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 knock. Pig, pig, small pig, pig. I hear some code in pieces. The snippets sounding like Morse code pull me out of my dream. Reluctantly, I open my eyes. It's bright outside. As I raise my body, I narrow my eyes at the bright sunlight. Many dots. Many dots. Many dots. Is this acceptable? I ponder while squinting. Can I be defeated by mere sunlight? No, I can't. Even if the UN would forgive me with a thumbs up and smile, I can't accept it. Therefore, I will fight. All for my beautiful morning. Sunlight, I challenge you! <laughs> What's going on? Fight me, Takagoshi Ryo! Many dots. Many dots. Man, what are you doing, Ryokun? Fighting against the sunlight, as you can see. I see. Yeah. The enemy is strong. He attacks not only with visible light, but also with infrared and ultraviolet right. R light. But I won't just stand here and take it. Microwave! I make a pose, but nothing happens. I came to wake you up. Oh, okay. Crap, the world is turning white. My eyes are burning and it feels crunchy. It doesn't mean you can eat it like a snack. But I bet it's nutritious. <laughs> it's like a thought, who cares? Your hair's all tangled up. I 
It reflects my personality. Oh, does that mean you're rebellious? Y yeah Crap, I'm near my limit. Gah. The light expands. The comet is... is... What's wrong, Ryukan? Nothing. The world turns green once I look away from the window. It feels like I've escaped Earth and run off into space. I bet I look weird staring out the window. Maybe I did something really stupid. Ryukan? As I hold my hand in regret, I hear a familiar voice at the door. I wonder who the voice could be. But then I realize it's faster to look. Whoa, Minori! A familiar girl stands there in her uniform. She's so familiar I can identify her face through a microscope. Okay, maybe not. Since when were you there? Minori was standing there before I knew it. Um, these things seem to be having a little out of order. Just now. A simple answer. I see. I can send to her right away. So, what's up? I'm gonna lower my volume a little bit. I assume that's going to screw around- oh no, the microphone's fine, okay. It's time for school. We'll be late if we don't hurry. Hmm? Is that late already? I turned to the clock. 8 a.m. I reach out and grab my cell phone by my bed. 117. It is 8 o'clock, 1 minute and 20 seconds. Just settle for what the clock tells you! He's gonna look out the window now, I bet. The automated voice informs me. It seems my clock is slightly off. I should fix it. Many dots. No, that's not it. I'm not completely late, but I should hurry. Alright, I'll get up. Yeah, I'll wait outside. Minori turns and goes out the door. I scratch my head and stand up. I change instantly and fill my bag, grab what I need. I put the earphones into my ears and turn on my MD player. Memory sticks are popular now, but this is still working for me. I bet I can hit .380 over its lifetime. Well, that's meaningless. Alright, let's go. Pushing play, I leave just as the song's intro begins. <clears throat> many dots. Many more dots. Even more dots. So many dots. Minori's standing outside when I open the door. She's looking up at the sky, waiting for me with her usual spaced out expression. I glance up at the sky as well. The sky is clear with no sign of yesterday's rain. It's endless. The sky is so blue I feel like I'm being swallowed into it. No, there's plenty of clouds there. Wait. I pull myself together and look at Minori. She's still looking up at the sky. Hey boy, look at the sky. Don't hang your- Oh, that's a song. I'm not singing. She's singing a weird song. Many dots. I look up at the sky. Many dots. Many more dots. So many dots. All the dots. Wait! Come on, let's get going. Many dots and a question mark. Plot twist. Don't look at me like that. Okay. Whatever. Let's go. Minori comes back from the other world, smiles, and starts to walk. I follow after her. The trees and grass all have small drops of water on them. They reflect the sunlight, increasing the refreshing morning feeling. It's the only proof that it rained yesterday. Ryukun? I f swear I'm pronouncing his name wrong. It's probably Ryo, Ryo or... I'm just gonna keep saying Ryu, because that's, uh, that's how I keep pronouncing it. Ryukun? Yeah? Minori's voice mixes in with the rock music from my earphones. I adjust the volume and turn to Minori. What are you listening to today? Rock. Paper. Scissors! Oh, it was pop music yesterday, right? Yeah. Classical before that. Yeah. Vocal before that. Yeah. And anime songs before that. Yeah. Is it a set rotation? Minori notices something for once. Wow, you caught on. Of course, I go to school with you every day. Now that she mentions it, but if that's the case, she should have realized sooner. Nori and I have been friends for over 10 years, and we've gone to school together since middle school. Conclusion? Nori is an idiot. <laughs> well, way to be blunt about it. Just keep that in your thoughts. <laughs> you sure like music, Ryukun? Yeah, I especially like hard rock with drums. You were in the music club during middle school, after all. Yeah, I'm in the music club now, too. Are you interested in playing classical music? No, I'm fine with playing any percussion instrument, to be honest. Oh, yeah. Minori hangs her head. She doesn't say anything, but her reaction tells me what she wanted to say. That's why I don't get mad. I'm pursuing my dad for the time being. Well, you can say that I don't have my own will. But that's not true. Minori shakes her head. That's not true, huh? Many dots. The reason I like music is because of my dad. 
My dad, Takiguchi Yu, YOU, was a famous percussionist who pr played all over the world. He prayed all over the world. He played drums at jazz concerts and percussion instruments in first class orchestra. He would teach me about music and percussion instruments on his time off. My life was filled with music thanks to him. My mom used to be a famous cello player, but for me, she was just a kind mom. My mom would let me listen to music every day, so I was in a music-filled environment. With such an environment, I naturally grew interested in music, and I dreamed of going around the world playing percussion instruments just like my dad. See, that's the thing. With stuff like that, if you're surrounded by something all the time, you either get really into it, or you get really bored of it and don't want it anymore. So... I feel like the second option is usually what happens more often. Like... If you spent your entire life in a bedroom that had, like, white walls, you'd probably get really bored of the color white, for example. So, like, just saying right now... What am I even saying? That's not even relevant. Right before I got to middle school, my dad died. Okay. That's... Just Kind of random. It was too sudden. Yeah, you just you're just like, oh by the way, my dad died. Just throwing that out there. He went to the US to play for a jazz concert, but was involved in a robbery and was shot. My mom also died soon after, as if to follow after him. Many dots. That's why I'm living by myself now. It's not like I don't have relatives, but I didn't want to leave this town. And I also had an attachment to this house. And I had an attachment with saying weird words weirdly. Freaking stroke acting up. So I was allowed to stay here. Now I'm living off the money my uncle sends me, as well as the savings that dad left. Well, it does get lonely sometimes. Ryukun? Any dots. Ryukun! Yeah? Minori's voice pulls me back to reality. Snap back to reality. Yo, oh, she looks uneasy. Oh, What's wrong? Is it my fault? Of course not. I was just thinking to myself. Minori should notice I'm trying to change the subject. Thinking to yourself? Yeah, about... I look down at Minori's body. Many dots. Many dots. Many dots. Exclamation mark! Minori figures out what I meant and her face turns red. And... You... Pervert? Bam! Okay. She hits me with her bag. Many dots. Many more dots. Even more dots. Club activities start once school is over. That was random. My club, the music club, is no exception. I head back to the music room. I glare at the musical score for the contest. And that's no fun, so I also play the snare drum. Wait, what? Hang on, let me uh, let me look at this stuff. So he glares at the musical score for the contest, but that's no drum for fun, so I also play. Okay. And on the side, I coach new members since I'm a sophomore, sophomore, whatever, however you pronounce it. Here in Canada, we just say nine, ten, eleven, and twelfth grade. So. Or we say junior for the first two years, senior for the second two years, so... Sophomore, sophomore, saxophone, whatever. I want to do something related to music whenever I can. I'm active during the club because I love music. After enjoying the club, I head home. Many dots. Many more dots. Even more dots. So many dots. Phew. I sigh as soon as I get to the station. It's not like something's troubling me. It's just that my lungs fill with air while I walk to the station. That's all. Many dots, huh? The music coming from my earphones suddenly stops. The hard beat of the rock cuts off and silence fills my ears. Did the battery run out? I check the screen on the controller. The battery isn't dead, so there must be another problem. I take out the disc and look at it, but there's nothing wrong with it. Did I break something? I can't do anything about wirings or circuits. I'll take another look at it after I get home. I throw the empty player into my bag. There's nothing to do now, so I go through my bag to find something to do. Oh. I feel something hard in my bag. Right! You can tell what it is without looking at it. I take out the drumsticks. My dad's drumsticks, to be exact. These are the drumsticks my dad used when he was alive, and even though they're not broken, they're covered with scratches. They look worn out, and they don't look pretty at all. But this is my dad's memento. It's a bond that connects me and my dad, me and music. It's something I value. It's a James Bond that can never be broken. The only time I would get rid of these is when I abandon music. Keeping my dad's drumsticks means being a musician. That's the reason I keep this memento, and it's also proof that I'm his son. So you keep drumsticks to prove that you're his son. I think there's something called a birth certificate for that. You know, that's just me, though. 
Of course, I have no intention of abandoning music. Don't tempt fate! For me to abandon music is like contradicting my existence. Don't tempt fate! And also means contradicting my dad's life. I can't do such a thing. That's part of the reason I'm into music. My mind twirls a bit at the thought. Bam! Whoa. Someone bumps me while I'm lost in thought. I turn around and a worker in his late 20s apologizes. Give me money if you're gonna apologize. What? Many dots. Many dots. My bad. Please disregard that. Okay. The man goes away, not understanding my actions. I watch him leave. Oh. I realize the sticks in my hand are missing. I look around since I must have dropped them when I got bumped. Hey, this isn't funny. Can't find them. Don't tempt fate. I get a bad feeling. Why am I worrying so much? Hey, this isn't the time to think. They're on the platform, so they must have dropped down to the tracks. I look down the tracks. Indeed, both the sticks are down there. And just my luck, they're both right on the rails, so they'll be smashed once the train comes through. The train should be arriving any minute now. I have to go get them. The next train will be arriving at track number two. Please back up behind the yellow line. Crap! Well, bad timing. There's no time to hesitate, so I jump down onto the track. What? Ugh! I slip after I jump down. I twist my ankle and hit my knee on the rail. Ow! I have to hurry. After picking up the sticks, I try to climb back up. But... Throb. What is with these sound effects? It's like... I can understand BAM and stuff, but THROB? Isn't that like... Like BOOM BOOM or something? Like the sound of your heart? Gah! Pain runs through my legs. Unable to endure the pain, I fall back down... I fall down back to the... Could it be I fall back down to the train? The train is arriving. Wait. Oh, hold on! The station attendant announces this is ignoring my existence. Hey! Help me! I can't move down here! I scream out, feeling my life's in danger. But nobody notices, and my mind panics. Do they think it's a prank, or do they really not hear me? The train's about to come into the station. The rail starts to vibrate as the train approaches, causing me to panic even more. Help me! Damn. I won't make it. I scream while analyzing my situation. There's some space between the platform and the ground, so I can slip myself in there. I try to pull my body there, but the pain slows me down. It's right there in front of me, but it feels so far. The train is mercilessly approaching. Damn! The instant I think it's over, I grab the rail and pull my whole body with all my might. I manage to slip under the platform. I hit my head on the rock, but I don't care about it. Screech! The train grinds to a stop. I manage to avoid the train at the last second, or so I thought. Many dots, exclamation marks! A powerful force hits my arm. There's no pain, but my throat lets out a scream. Something flows out of my left arm and it suddenly feels like the temperature dropped. My vision starts to waver. The end, he died because he died of blood loss through his arm. And that's the end of the... No. The world starts to collapse and fades away in a haze. It sounds like a rhyme. Fades away in a haze. Fades away in a haze. Fades away in a haze. White light engraves itself on my eyes. Whoa. Um, that's not white light. That's red. The instant the white turns into red, the world turns. Without knowing anything, my consciousness... Fades. 